Hi everyone. Happy uh, Tops Rip Party Day. Tops Series One Rip Party Day. We're starting the night off with 2022 Tops Series One Baseball Six Box Jumbo Random Box Break Number One. Keep an eye on the schedule. That's always pinned in the chat. Um, if you wanna, if you wanna know when your break is coming up, we're doing all the random boxes first. Random box breaks first. Big thanks to this group here: Howard, Jeremy, Kyle, Alan, Stephen, and Charles for getting in on this. There are the box numbers right there. So first, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna grab this. I'm gonna open the. Uh, I'm gonna open the case first and number the boxes, and then we'll see which box number. And I'll randomize your names and the box numbers, and then we'll rip the box. And Jason will be helping me. We'll be helping each other throughout the evening. So I know it's kind of hard to see, but you've got boxes one, two, three, four, five, and six in the Sharpie right there. Uh, those are numbered. Now let's flip over here and let's roll it. Randomize names and numbers five and a five, ten times. Oh, took the names out of the tab there. There you go. Five and a five, ten times for each list. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and a tenth and final time. Five and five, ten times. And then five and a five, ten times for the box numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and uh, tenth and final time. After ten, we got two down to six. All right, and we'll break in uh, in number order. Kyle with two, Jeremy with five. Let's make this a little bit bigger. Kyle with two, Jeremy with five, Alan with four, Howard with three, Charles with one, and Stephen with six. So let's order these numerically right here. And how should we do this? You want to print out two labels worth, maybe? Hmm. You know what I can do? I can just print out one page each. Perfect, we do that too. That's good. That's fine. I'll cut it up right now. Anyways. That way, each of these will go into your own tub, your own container. I don't know if these will be in Walmart tomorrow. Not jumbos, probably. Most likely, really. Um, they may. I mean, they're not going to have jumbos at Walmart or hobby boxes at Walmart, but they should have. Um, should eventually be like retail packs of these. I think. Each of those, all right. Nice, so Charles, we're gonna start with you. And if you want, um, you wanna do the first one, I'll do the next five, or? Yeah. Just cast the rest of them. I guess, how are we gonna? We'll figure this out. So here's two and three. I'm gonna make sure that that's over. And then four, five, and six. Let 
maybe, and everyone can see that camera right there, maybe you can just show like, here, here's number two, and then just rip them one at a time, and then I'll put one at a time on back on the table. I think that might be the easiest. I put his sheet right there, sorry. Oh, this is already here. Oh, oh, excellent, thanks. All right, so there's Charles with box number one. Box number one, good luck. And Jason will show the number Two. on the camera. And he's going to rip that right there, and we'll transfer it right back on the table so that we're not mixing up your boxes. We'll eventually figure out a, a pattern for this. Oh, and you got a Future Stars Joe Adele oversized card here. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Globo, just don't just don't publicly tell people what the what some of these cards could be worth. And obviously these random box breaks, all cards will ship. Look, aren't the aren't the tops offices in New York City right right in the city somewhere? You just go and knock on a door and be like, "Hey, you guys, have any, any cards you can give me?" That card's kind of bent on the corner right there. Sorry, Mike Yastrzemski. All right, Charles, here we go. Thank you for getting a random box, appreciate it. Perfect, so yeah, mm -hmm. so that's box two right here. Three. Excellent. And we're putting those papers right there too. Awesome, that's a good, that's a good way to do it. So obviously we're looking for uh, that guy, Wander Franco. Now, if we start seeing numbered cards of Wander Franco, that's definitely what we want to see. Maybe some autographs. I'm sure he has some ink in here somewhere. There's Jake Brents, our first autograph for Charles. Our first autograph of the Topps Rip Party. Congrats. It's an early look, early look on this stuff. So that's not a short print, right? That's just a silver parallel? Yeah. Charles. And we got a Yadier Molina. That was flipped around. So that might be a variation that's six one six two. Anyone look to? No, it's five zero or six zero. It might be an insert. So we'll keep an eye out for for short prints as well. There's Craig Kimbrell. A couple cool inserts here. And our relic is a cool looking one. You get a bit of a piece of the maple leaf right there. Vlad Guerrero Jr., Toronto Pride Patch. Nice one, Charles. Our first random box. Our first case. There's a Bobby Dalbeck, different color here, gold. 
No, not numbered? Thought it would be, but cool, cool looking card though. I like the the inserts, the the old uh, wood frame, late eighties design. The design overall, Series 1, looks really clean, too. There's Calibre Jr. The Molina, though, I don't think it was, because it didn't have the, the short print code on the back. So all of, all of these are... Wait, all of these are 4-3, so it's 6-0? Oh, so that might have, no, I think you're right, actually. 6-0 is a short print. I mean, 6-0 and 61. 560 ah. plus 61. Right, the Base is 43. The commons are 43, yes. Thank you, El Canon. So they're flipped around. So they are flipped around. Thanks, Tops. That actually does make life easy for me. like 6-2 or 6-3, but 6-0 is also included. Where did you go? There it is. All right, El Canon, thank you. Good eye, good eye. So I know it's kind of hard to see right here, but that'll say, it says 6-0 in the small print. I can, I can barely read it, but it's there. So they are flipped around, so that, that also should make life pretty easy for us. Card flipped around and numbered. Which was a rookie last year, maybe? All right, nice. Randy Aros 78 out of 2022. Gang, I know just in the interest of time, we are going to kind of go quickly through these breaks, but we record at 1080p. So once this video is uploaded, you can actually watch your box and you can use YouTube to, to uh, slow down the speed of the video. So the, sh the quality should be good enough where you can catch every moment. Another Juan Franco base. Not numbered, but still nice. Logan Gilbert, Ted Williams die cut, Frank Thomas. Another Wander Franco rookie card. Last one, six. Steven Schwartz. Nice. There you go, yeah. Lamban's right. The rookie logo is uh, uh, pretty small this year. Look at that. It's wow, kind of, dude. It's why really do you do tiny, that? right? Yeah. That's pretty tiny.
So did Nick really pull a Nolan earlier, or was Justin just trolling you? When's the last time you see Nick? Great. I just troll. <laughs> so, I think you got your answer right there. There is a out of seventy-one Ronald Acuna Jr. Nice, nice black border. That looks sharp. Those black borders still sell really well. Ooh, it's yeah. Still tough to hit. There you go, Charles. Twenty out of seventy-one. I mean, just imagine when we had, when we did one of these at this event a couple years ago. We were supposed to rip a million cards. Right. That was just us there. So like, right, just with that group of breakers. Out of seventy-one is really rare. <laughs> Right, with the, with the tens of, with the millions of cards that are out there. And another rally. Are there supposed to be two in each? It's maybe a one relic on medallion or maybe two relics this one. Usually That's nice, it is, though. It is three hits, though. I just don't oh, know. it is three hits. Okay, so autograph and two relics. There's Albert Pujols Dodgers edition. Few more cards here for Charles. There you have it. And you know, of course, you have the oversized Joe Adele. Right, you can see compared to the regular size cards. And let's see what we have in these special cards here. Ooh, these look really cool. Kind of the mojo pattern and some oh. gold in the background. These look sharp. All right, but nothing too crazy here. All right, Charles, thank you. If you want, I'll go um, print out the labels. Yeah, that would be cool, room, too. And then we can just drop a label on each one. So, if you, yeah, you'll be able to read the total really quick, but two, three, four, five. Six. Sure, cool. Awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. So this is... So Jason here put the paper on the bottom. So now Kyle with box two, you're up next. Good luck, man. The oversized card, Ryan Mountcastle. We'll do these. But, oh, by the way, we've got a rip party packs right here. We're giving these away at the end of each break. So at the end, I'll randomize all six names. Top two names get one each. We'll ship those to you sealed. So um, you can do whatever you want. You can sell them if you want to. You can rip them if you want to. All right, second box. Good luck. For these base cards, obviously, we want to look for, for the short print, numbered cards, and, uh, and Wander Franco. That's the main name we'll be looking for here. All card ship. All right, Jason Hayward is your orange parallel. That's 28 out of 299. Satchel page die cut. And there's our first Wander Franco for Kyle. Someone was mentioning earlier today that they didn't see any Wander Francos. We've seen a few already.
And like last year, as you noticed in the first box, um, the short prints, thankfully, are flipped around like this. So when we run into one, we'll be able to spot it pretty quickly and easily, thankfully. I'm glad that they, they, they I'm glad that Top started doing that. It's a huge help. Got Xander Bogarts. To 2022, 1042 out of 2022. Ooh, Globug saying there are Wander autos in those silver packs. And some are already up on eBay. People are asking a boatload. There's another Wander Franco. And Jared Kellenick, nice autograph popping for Kyle. That's Jared Kellenick. 30 out of 50. Robert, what's going on? The Vlad Guerrero die cut. Things are going great. Got a very busy and long night ahead of us breaking all this series one all night long. Here's a cool relic coming up. Buster Posey, San Francisco Pride. That's pretty nice. It'd be kind of weird not seeing him in the action. 72 out of 299. Hi, Jeremy. Uh, no, you are box number five. We're on box number two right now. So you have not missed it. We're going in box order for these random box breaks. There's Alcides Escobar, silver, not numbered, all card shit. Another Wander Franco rookie card. The big name that everybody's chasing. And a welcome to the show insert Wander Franco. I don't know how, what the value is going to be on these, but I guess anything that says Wander Franco on it seems to be doing well. So let's just top load that for you too. I think he's the I think he's the real deal too. Robert Thacker is asking collector's question. What what's uh, what cards better? Card with the RC logo or a card from the year that they were called up? I would say the RC logo for me. Even if it's not quite their 
their rookie year. There's Chris Sale. Piece of his jersey for Kyle and the Red Sox. And Bogsy as well. All right. Let's see what we got in those silver packs. Ooh, and an auto? Gavin Sheets. Flipped around. It's an autograph. Rookie auto. Gavin Sheets for Kyle. This is Kyle's box right here, right? Correct. Perfect. And Charles is right underneath. I got it. Cool. It's nice. Nice rookie auto. And Jared Kalanick back there, too. Yeah, the whole box fits perfectly. All right. Box three is Howard. And Alan, you're after that. Andrew Vaughn, Jumbo, we'll do your silver packs after we take a look at your box. Box number three, let's see what we got in this one. I buy some sour skittles in a bag like that. Ooh, yeah, they didn't have, I would have gotten sour skittles, but they didn't have, they didn't have any. Oh, look at this. MLB logo man, Jared Kalanick. I guess it's a manufactured relic. Is it really? It's not really a one of one. No, I think it's just it's a silhouetted batter logo medallion card, which looks really cool. I wish there were more sought out for like logo men in the NBA. Yeah, you really should. All right, nice one, Howard. It's a good start. We got an Alex Bregman flipped around. That's a uh, short print. Got a Bregman short print. Kalanick Future Stars, Reggie Jackson die cut, Tim Anderson. And out of 2022, Gerardo Parra. Nice Juan Soto, gold border, no, not numbered. Oh, and here's our first Wander Franco insert. In that late 80s design. 
What what some of you may remember this. What year was this? 86, 87, 87 I think. Nice. So your first Wander Franco. Wander. <laughs> Play to the whistle, Howard. Play to the whistle. Second stack. Let's see if we can find you a base rookie card. There he is. Just that one short print so far? We had a second short print. Nice. Uh, it was Alex, Alex Bregman. Usually it's one box, one per box around. 87, yeah, that's right. Clips upsetting, watch. <laughs> And that means Joe P won't, won't be in the chat. Be, in be in the chat now, yeah. All day, just today. Manana, I think. Mm. I forget who. But I'll start next week, this weekend, right? So it's just like this is the last like few days. I think so. Yeah, it's close. This weekend, next weekend, maybe this weekend. Frank Thomas die cut. Have a great evening, bro. Peace, Joe. Hi, bye. Oh, that's right. Hi, bye. I don't think I've even said hi to you today. We just wandered right Come in. Come on, Joe. You got the trick. I know. Hi, hi, bye. We got, we got to do the <laughs> hi, bye. You got to be better about that. <laughs> All right. So, uh, we got a Glaber Torres relic. I, you know what? I don't even know. I haven't memorized what the sh super short prints look like. And when we pull the short prints, I haven't. I actually didn't check that number. I, that could be a super short print, but at the very least, definitely a short print. Out of 2022, JT Real Muto. Entered there too. There's Austin Meadows. The last little bit. Man, rounds already getting ring sized already. It's crazy. Think they make those that fast? Uh, they, I, they put up a video like Aaron Donald, like you know, they're just starting to at like the jeweler. Yeah. I think the parade's tomorrow, right? Yeah, yeah. Ooh, and a patch auto Corbin Burns. Mm. Nice box. Seventeen out of twenty-five. Uh, Jeremy's saying a cardboard connection has Otani and Griffey as the only super short prints. So okay, so if we see them, then we'll we'll double check the backs of those. And then a Mark McGuire. Beckett has uh, Aaron Judge as a super short print as well. And Aaron Judge maybe. And then if you go on Beckett's website, they actually show you the cards. Oh okay. Aaron Judge is in the cornfield in one, and then his super short prints is in like a uh, suit. Oh. Wearing a suit. Right, so we'll look out for those those short prints and super short prints especially if they're big names traditionally have big value too all right that Bregman is a different color so it must be a different number no, I don't see the number oh yeah it's like green right yeah is it's it like green or somewhere? aqua or is it in the back oh back there it is it's hiding in the top right corner 53 out of 99 yeah, the aqua looks really sharp. I like that addition to the to the color palette this year. All right, Howard, thank you.
Um, that was box three. Here's box four for Alan. Jeremy, you're after Alan. Jeremy Taylor will be after Alan. Alan, thank you and good luck. Bobby Dalbeck is your jumbo. And your, here's your two silver packs right there. We'll rip those at the end of this box. You're welcome, Howard. Thanks for getting in. So far, each box has had at least one Wander Franco rookie card, which is good. Any new, no, no no new Series 1 will be posted tonight. None more. Um, we do have, if you go to uh, at Jaspie's Breaks on Instagram Live, there are personal jumbo boxes available over there. Yeah, personal jumbo, but they're selling fast, so. But yeah, so if you want to get those, I mean, this Series 1, we, we, as soon as we pre-ordered it, that sold out fast, so those jumbos on the personal break side will also sell out fast, so get those while supplies last. And a product like this, especially with the with Wander Franco in it this year, a product like this, the next time we get a batch of this in, will surely be at a higher price. So new re new release day or early release day for us as part of the Topps rip, par rip Party, get those early and often before the prices go up. But later this week, I mean, maybe we'll get like a case or two later this week, but, but no. I wouldn't hold my breath for more than a case or two at a time, and you know how fast those could go. There's a Bryce Harper Philadelphia Pride. That must be like their, part of their city flag or something like that. 54 out of 75. Now that we've seen a handful of Wander Franco um, rookie cards, it'd be cool to start seeing some parallels of them. There's Andrew Benintendi for Allen. A little wrinkly on the penny sleeve there, but there he is. I guess we did see that 80, 1987 Wander Franco. Maybe like a numbered card would be cool. A one of one would be cool. The chase is over. <laughs> yeah. We just tank the market after that if we pull the one of one. Got a Tim Anderson, 39 out of 75. Nice. Wow. GTM Photo is saying, I'm actually in Tampa right now. Stop by a small card shop in town, and the owner said they're possibly expecting a line tomorrow of people coming to buy Series 1. Wow. You know, I have to say, it's probably more popular right now with no baseball. Like, right. Everybody's just like, no, there's no, yeah. So happy. There's no baseball to watch. Pitchers and catchers are supposed to report today, but like instead, yeah, sad times. But instead, I guess we'll have to watch. Series one breaks because we have nothing else to talk about baseball wise. <laughs> it's like uh, maybe kind of baseball. Yeah, there's still a lot of uh, I mean, there's still a lot of free agents that I think are still in limbo because they yeah, have because they didn't do it yeah. before the deadline. So or yeah, they didn't get so. There's actually a lot of big names that are just not have, have not moved anything. So they're 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 just sitting sitting around figuring out what's gonna where they're end up where they're, where are they gonna go to work this year. Some Dodgers too. Right. Clayton Kershaw. What's he doing? He's just oh. sitting there. Does he does he does he follow Corey and like go to Texas and then retire? I mean it's possible. 
And then the Rangers are splashing that cash. Here's a Wander Franco insert. Oh, did I miss a Wander Franco rookie? That's not the, El Canon saying I missed a, oh no, you're just saying I missed a rookie, not the Father's Day rookie. I was looking for a Father's Day parallel, but I did miss the base rookie right here. There you go, Alan, sorry about that. Good eye, everybody, thank you. Yeah, it's going to be a flurry of, of moves once that, uh, once that CBA, when and if, if that gets done. I think the next two weeks, basically by the end of, I mean, we're already missing spring training, but the end of, the next two weeks basically are going to be very important for, for, for us, for baseball fans to see a deal get done. I think if, if it goes beyond the next two weeks, then we're going to start looking at, at, at a decent amount of games being, being missed. I think if, if baseball starts within the first couple weeks of, of April, you know, I think people will be okay with... Ooh, nice Cabrian Hayes autograph. Nice second year, Cabri uh, Cabrian Hayes. Nice one, Alan. One fifteen out of one at ninety nine. Will Christian, I probably missed it. This is the party, Pete. But who aside from Wander, you guys be sleeping in top lane? Nobody else, just Wander Franco. For rookies, yeah. For rookies, yeah. And obviously, all numbered cards and autographs will be sleeved and top loaded as well, and relics. But in terms of like those base rookie cards, just wander. But all card ship if you're in any of these breaks. What did they do in the past? Like let's just say like uh, There's well, a numbered card right there for wind leaders. They like agree like a day before the opening week. Do they still have a full trip spring training? I think in this instance, let's say it gets done tomorrow, they would I think there'd be a week for transactions to happen and then spring training will start and it'll just be an abbreviated spring training. But like if it's like right before like just say like opening day, like they just can't I think really I think you miss games. I think yeah, they do because players players are be like, We gotta ramp up otherwise. Yeah, exactly. How's, how long was so long instead was of a month spring training maybe two weeks. Month and a half spring training, yeah, it'll be like two or three weeks. It'll be a lot shorter. All right. Has there ever been a full lockout? Where a whole year gets missed? I think in 94, a whole year got missed. And it was, that, that was bad. It was like, they, they, got, they brought in like scabs and replacement players and tried to carry on a season and blah, 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 blah. All right, Alan, very nice break for you. Thank you for getting in. Appreciate it. So 
put your set of stuff away. And then we'll carry on with the next two boxes. Jeremy Taylor, you're up. And then last but not least, Steven. And that one was a strike, not a not necessarily a lockout. Oh. Strike by the player. So that actually made that's, that's why they. That's why they. That's, that's, a, that's why they lost a ton of fans that year because, because of that. Because it's more. Remember last time hockey in twenty thirteen was out for like half a year. Yeah. All right, Jeremy Taylor, thanks for your patience. Good luck. So we're about forty five minutes in. So maybe these are are going to take about an hour each. Although I think once I get get used to the pattern of all these boxes and stuff. And get into a good groove, I think we'll be we'll catch up on time. Another Wander Franco. Each box so far has had a Wander Franco rookie card, at least one. Exactly, Jeremy, yeah. Strikes instigated by the players, lockout is by the owners, but yeah, ultimately ultimately sad times for, for fans. But hopefully we won't lose too much. I, th I, th I think if baseball starts, you know, once owners start losing money and, and players aren't cashing paychecks, <laughs> you know, I think, that'll, I think suddenly they'll start to get things done very quickly. Salaries were very different in the mid-90s, you know what I mean? They're making yeah. a lot more now, so, <laughs> so there's a lot bigger stakes. I think, you know, I, I think there's definitely going to be, once the owners lose... Uh, game day revenue, and once players start losing game checks, yeah. you know they'll yeah, they'll start to come. They'll start talking, you know, a lot more seriously, and get things done as quickly as possible. I think if the season, you know, if we lose like half of a couple weeks, I don't think anyone two or three weeks, of, you know, of April maybe. I don't think a lot of people are gonna. I wouldn't really complain. I mean, it sucks, but. But if it starts creeping into like May, then yeah, then I think you you start doing some serious damage to the to to the game. Who, who, who folds first? Well, yeah, I mean that's the thing. Who's gonna fold first? Ooh, nice, Randy Arzarania, forty-four out of fifty jersey and auto postseason jersey and auto. Focus on your camera. There we go. Looks pretty sharp. Cards look good. Yeah, cards look really good this year. I like that the text is kind of big. It wasn't like last year's yeah, text. Yeah, like, yeah. It's like, like they switched the really microscopic. Yeah, it was all. It was all, It's almost impossible to read. But the names and team logos are really clear to see. So as a as a group breaker, this is. Does it, really does, it nice. feel, does it look glossier? I know I'm getting like a, an angle, or is the same? No, it feels the the gloss feels the same. Here's a nice Ryan Mountcastle, Baltimore Pride card, City Flag Patch card. Nice. It's a cool photo of Tony Kemp. Look at him reaching back for that ball. It's awesome. And there's a Yaz die cut. 
Yeah, for manufactured rally, that's pretty cool. I like that they kind of went with this with uh, a city, the city flag. I think that looks that's a cool touch. I don't think I've ever seen anything like that. Like I wouldn't know what the what the city flag of like the city of Los Angeles would even look like. It's kind of cool to see that. And the other relic is Bren Lau for the Rays. Spencer Howard, green, to four Behind Salvador Perez is Mookie Betts. Oh, and there's Rysel Iglesias gold. Mookie Betts blue. It's pretty cool. Nice little color match there. Nice box, Jeremy. All right, now let's see what we got in your silver packs. Silver packs, silver packs. All right, nothing too, some nice players, nothing too crazy here though, but thank you. Appreciate Jeremy getting into the action. And last but definitely not least, Steven Schwartz. Box six. Yeah, just one, Jeremy. Yeah, it was just the one. Unless I missed one, I mean, I feel like the crew would have been like, hey, you missed one. But all card ships, so you will get everything there. All right, Steven, thank you. Out of Jonathan India, Future Stars Jumbo. Uh, no, I did not see what you said about Marshawn Lynch. What about Marshawn Lynch? Thanks, yeah. Thanks, thanks to Tops. Gave us these shirts uh, to wear for the rip party. Really comfortable, too. Really comfy shirts. There's a Mike Trout flipped around. That's pretty cool. Oh, those are like the equivalents of like. Look what that looks like. Do you know what that looks like? Oh, like Another downtown, company. Downtown, yeah, yeah. Parts, uh, like downtowns. These are better than the tops of them. Better. These are nice though. And that's 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 what actually what the stadium does look like. There's two big hats that are out in the front entrance. They can walk under. They're gigantic. There's a waterfall in the back. My trout's there. Is this a case hit? That's nice. That's really nice, Stephen. Well worth the wait. Want to snap a picture of this? Yeah. For the social media. 
at Jaspie's Breaks on Instagram, at Jaspie's Breaks on Twitter. Oh, he was on Conan's podcast, an episode of Will Arnett's Murderville. Yeah, I mean, have you seen his press conferences? Have you seen his commercials? Marshawn Lynch is, is, is pretty pretty hilarious. He's done some, some videos for, for Skittles. He's done some travel type shows. I think as a part of a, a Skittles marketing event or something like that. He's been long known to be pretty pretty nice dude, pretty funny dude. There's Jake Berger. Rookie auto for Steven. For this one right here? Yeah. There's that trout again. Pedro Martinez die cut. This uh, this the plastic mat is kind of hard to pick up the card sometimes though. Mm -hmm. So we'll, we'll send that note to Tops for next year. Because <laughs> our mats are actually. It's, it's more of like a felt, so it's like a it's like when you go to a casino, there's like a card table, almost like a card table mat. And those make it easy to p pick up the cards without jamming up the edges too much. It's not bad, but you, you, you definitely notice it if you're a breaker. There's Jose Abreu, Chicago Pride. City flag patch card. Is that what the Chicago City flag looks like? It's kind of cool. There's our first Wander Franco. That's a good photo of him too. That's a great card. That's a great rookie card for him. What's the worst rookie card photo for a top level player? Not just worst rookie card photo, but I mean for like a top level player. What's like the worst picture on a one and one I can think of immediately is uh, Tony Gwynn's rookie card. If you look up his rookie card, it's not a very flattering photo of him for, for a legend like that. Right, Brian Peoples, I was going to say, if Brian Peoples was still listening, he'd agree too. Yeah, that little Topps trophy there, that they've been doing this for, for decades, I want to say. But it's just their their designation of what they consider a tops all star or a top star rookie or something like that. I don't remember what what is the Aussies the Tony Gwynn one. If you haven't looked it up, the Tony Gwynn one. It's basically basically his backside. Like you don't even see his face. He's like he must have gotten a hit and he's turning to run up the first baseline, and you basically just see his butt. <laughs> And that's really, it's, it's really just not a flattering shot of one of the greatest, if not one of the great, if not the greatest hitter, pure hitter that's out there today. Hall of Famer, RIP. What does the Ozzie Smith one look like? Lance Jones, Cedric Mullins, and a Cedric Mullins bunting. What's up, Seven? What's going on? Right, and then Toss makes Tatis a horizontal card. Man, they just... Come on. Got to show some more love. There's Brian Anderson to 299. Let's put that little stack back over here. Nice. I 
Like, just not a good photo. Just a standard mid-70s portrait style. Yeah. You would hope that they would catch the wizard in action. You know? What's Nolan Ryan's rookie, Rex? It's not just him? Oh, is that is Nolan Ryan's rookie card like the three-player card? Uh, is this break two? No, it's not. This is the first uh, random box break number one. If you click the schedule in the chat, ladies and gentlemen, that's pinned in the chat or dropped in the chat, that's going to be very helpful for a night like tonight. Because if you click there, it'll take you to a spreadsheet that'll tell you um, the break schedule which I think for a night like today, it would be more useful than some other nights. And it will be 45 to an hour each break. So. Right, so it's going to take us a little bit of time. I think we'll probably start, we'll probably catch up on the random team breaks. Yeah. I well, think. plus the first case is usually we're kind of like yeah. getting to know Figure, the cards yeah. and stuff. Well, there's a little extra work for the random box break, but I think we'll start catching up on time significantly when we get to those random team breaks later tonight. Speaking of Nolan Ryan, there he is. Oh, it's with Kuzman. Yeah, that's a that's a great example of a of a sort of a top level player getting kind of a not so not so good rookie card. McDavid's in town. Is he? Yeah, oh yeah, that's right. Oh, they even wearing the new retro jerseys. Oh, they're honoring Drew Doughty for stopping game. They probably stay at the, the Ritz Carlton downtown, right? Right across from Seattle. I would assume so. That's one of my friends. Oh, here there's the new Guardians logo on the car on uh, these cards. Oh yeah, that's first year Guardians. Yeah, this stuff. is first year Guardian stuff. So so there may be a slight boost in value for for some Guardians rookie cards this year. Uh, all right, that's that. Steven, thank you. Thanks everybody. We're done. That was awesome. Nice. So now let's give these let's give these away. Let's flip back over here. Need some new dice, new lists. Let's gather everybody's names. Top two, a card each. So pretty good odds if you're in this random box break. All right, let's roll it and randomize that list of names. Twelve, come on, twelve times. Just trying to get this break done. <laughs> I, I hate when it's I hate two. I love snake eyes. Three, four, five, six, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven, and twelfth and final time. Good luck. After twelve, it is Charles and Allen up top. You get one of these uh, Series One Rip Party exclusive event exclusive packs, one each. It's not pretty well actually. So we'll put we'll we'll put random Here, one. I'll put one in there. Yeah, put one in. That one will go to Charles and Allen. So it'll just be randomly put in there. There you have it, gang. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for hanging out with me and, uh, and Jason. We'll see you in the next video for the next break. jazbeescasebreaks.com. Bye-bye.